So we've had some successive decent risk on moves when it comes to the financial markets. As a result, we've seen key indices enjoy strong gains. We took a look at the S&P 500 last week, the Nasdaq 100 a couple of weeks before that. And now it's time for us to take a look at the Dow. So let's go ahead and get started. Take a look at client sentiment. This is a week on week changes. Outer circle started this week. Inner circle started last week. Last week, they're at a heavy sell 67%, pulling back a couple notches, but still in heavy sell territory nonetheless to 65%. Now, that's a little bit odd because usually whenever you have price gains, longs get enticed and closing out, shorts initiate. And that means that we usually see sell bias rise. In fact, you know, we've had three weeks of, of price gains. Uh, the first two weeks where we had the, those increases, we actually saw sell bias rise significantly and reach heavy sell territory. So week on week, this comes as a little bit of a surprise that they've actually held off in terms of raising their short buys. So not as uh, long's not as keen to close out, maybe anticipating further gains, short, a bit more cautious in terms of entering. What about when it comes to COT speculators? Also in majority short territory, also heavy sell, heavier sell, in fact, 72% uh, rising to 73%. Now, here's the thing. There is a drop in longs, a larger drop in shorts. So it's not that they're, they're raising their, their short positions, they're actually reducing it and reducing it more than longs. But if you take it in percentage terms, it's coming out into heavy sell territory. So that's something to keep in mind when we take a look at COT speculators and plot it onto the chart, because that's what we're going to do next. We're going to take this sentiment, we're going to plot it on the chart and see exactly how is it that they got there and what they've been doing throughout this period of time. Starting with the daily chart, then we're going to zoom out to the longer term weekly. But with the daily chart, this candlestick chart corresponds, you look at the right axis, that's price. And what we're going to do is we're going to plot sentiment onto it, dotted lines looking at the left, uh, corresponding to the left axis. So, and this is as percent long. So blue dotted line for IG client, green dotted line for COT speculators. When you see the blue dotted line say over here, that means at this point in time, they were uh, majority, they were long 48%, which means they were short 52%. So majority short 52%, or even if just slight sell, we call it considered slight sell territory. What about this dotted red line right over here? That's the 50-50 line. So whenever you see the blue dotted or green dotted line go above the, the red dotted line, it means they're in majority buy territory. And whenever they go below, as has been the case for COT, speculator, COT speculators throughout this entire period of time, it means that they're now in majority short territory. So let's go ahead and take a look at IG client, uh, IG client sentiment. You can see that a very straightforward in the sense that price has generally been averaging back with the exception of this last movement right up over here. But generally speaking, it's been averaging back. So it's been great for range traders. It's been great for those uh, trading opposite a move, anticipating it to come back. And that's the reason why it's been a very, very predictable price goes down and you're going to see a mountain in the sense that, it, you know, uh, uh, Shorts get enticed into closing out, longs are initiating, and the buy shifts from what was majority short to majority buy and reaching heavy buy territory. Price recovers, longs get out, shorts initiate, you see them go into majority short territory, and then price comes down. And in this case, it actually went lower, and you can see that sentiment uh, reaching the same amount. There was a little bit of this fear that we are in, we could be in a sort of short-term bear trend channel. The technical overview at this time, period of time was a bear average in the sense that price was at the time averaging a little bit lower. So there might have been a little bit more caution in terms of longs initiating and shorts maybe waiting for a little bit more movement, which is why that even though price went lower, you'll see that sentiment was about the same. It didn't go further into heavier buy territory. And then we had the big moves. Three These past few weeks, we had some significant fundamental updates. But this one right over here, this big move right over here, this is what got them to really, this is what got longs enticed into closing out and shorts into initiating. It took quite a bit by surprise. After that, it was a story of pretty much trying to average their way out a little bit. And then you had this big boost. This right here, that's last Tuesday. We had the US CPR Consumer Price Index, the, the figures for October, where it, they were lighter than anticipated, which in the current environment, that's better than expected. And of course, uh, resulted in a sizable risk on move and, and taking it to new heights. And then afterwards, you can see that in this case, a lot of them being a little bit more cautious. And in fact, looking for ways to actually, and you might not be surprised to see that with technicals turning more positive, especially on the day, it's, it's more uh, prevalent on the daily time frame. of course, uh, seeing those technical indicators, some of those key technical indicators turn positive, some of those trends letting say, okay, you know what, maybe we're not in such a consolidatory phase, even if we've been averaging back generally, maybe we might be in for a little bit of a bull average or a bull trend situation. And naturally, that's, as a result, you're seeing that they're not falling for the usual tactics that they've had over, you know, since mid around mid-September up until now. What about COT speculators? In this case, majority short territory, raising that sell bias as price went down. So kind of going a little bit with momentum. When it recovered, it kind of held the line, didn't really move. Uh, you saw a little bit of a chance for some of those shorts to, to get out when, when you had a drop. And then afterwards, you had this big move over here running contrary to COT speculators. So they're on the wrong side of the trade for much of this 
but as I mentioned before, it's not necessarily, it doesn't mean that shorts aren't unwinding. It just might be a situation where longs are also unwinding and taking profit. And as a result, the percent, in percentage terms, they're staying in heavy sell territory. So what exactly is going on on a longer term time frame? Let's go ahead and pull up a weekly chart. So this gives us a little bit, a much uh, better perspective in the sense that this is for about a year's worth of price action. And in this case, you can see that price has generally come back towards an average. So you, you can kind of understand why a lot of those traders took that position and took that idea that, okay, you know what, let's try, if we can handle the, the, the short to midterm moves, let's at least try and uh, go for it for a bit of a longer term, anticipating things to, uh, to come back. I'm going to go ahead and plot sentiment onto it and give you guys a better idea of what's been happening. I'm going to start with the blue dotted line, IG client sentiment, and that's the red dotted line. Now, if you look at the daily chart, the previous slide, it, was, it looked as though they were looking for an excuse to say to the buy side. But if you zoom out towards a weekly, for the most part, staying to the sell side. And once again, it's been a story of, you know, price drops, they go into majority buy territory, price drops again, majority buy territory again. But um, you know, not not as sizable as what as what it was before, and then you had this big move right over here, and you can see that they went into extreme short territory. This is IG client sentiment, and when when it pulled back, that was a godsend. That was a boon. They were able to the shorts were able to close out, longs initiated. So that was a real relief over here. And then afterwards, trying to range trade these moves over here briefly, going as I mentioned before, going heavy buy a couple times before finally getting getting to where we are today. What about COT speculators? Now, this is a situation where. It's, the, the picture is much rosier for IG clients if, if, in terms of, of where markets went and, and them anticipating. This actually worked much better in their favor because when it comes to COT speculators, majority short territory almost the entire time. And over here, you can see going with the flow. So you can tell that there's a lot of momentum-based trades going on over here. Price drops, they raise their sell bias, but then market recovers. And then they try and unwind some of those cells, goes back in favor. They raise their sell bias because raising their sell bias means the green dotted line comes lower and then price makes does this to them. And, and you can see a lot of st uh, shorts getting stopped out and briefly going into slight buy territory. I say briefly on the, this is a weekly chart. So if you're looking on a daily chart, that's about a month of majority buy buy. So it, it is a long time, a month, but looking at a weekly uh, time frame, you go, this is a very, very brief, especially considering they're in sell territory the entire, uh, otherwise in sell territory and looking for an excuse. Price pulls back, looking for an excuse to go back to majority short territory and, for, and shorts start to re-enter and, and, and on this move lower. It's going in their favor until we got this move right over here. So this is a situation where, you know, usually we have a lot of situations where it's been in favor of, of COT speculators, not so much for IG clients that have been trying to range trade their way out of a situation or average their way out of a situation because they were range trading at first. But because it's managed to come back towards an average, minus the latest moves, of course, it still could average back, right? Uh, but minus the latest moves, uh, you look at it because it's managed to come back towards an average very much uh, in favor when it comes to IG uh, clients. So, and finally, I just want to go ahead and pull up. This is Wall Street uh, or Dow 30, but Wall Street and IG's trading platform. And this is the daily chart. And I just want to let you know that you, IG client, the client sentiment here, that is where you can find the, a snapshot of where they stand currently. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this. Good luck out there. And as always, happy ticks.